All right, chip of the day. Uh, this is a DMG 1024 UV, a dual channel, uh, dual channel MOSFET, which is nice. They're both end channel. Um, so you can turn things on and, um, they come in a super, super tiny little package. It is a, um, what is it? A, uh, 560. Yeah. T O S O T 563, which is teeny tiny. Um, it is a cool part though. It has, um, a 20 volt breakdown, but it'll do an amp. Um, Let's see here. Where is the amps on this side? I guess it's on this side. It, trust me, that'll do an amp. Um, let's see here. Gate threshold of volt. Uh, ohms, 0.3 ohms. And let's see. What else do we need to know? Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty cool, but it'll it'll switch an amp. So let's uh, let's try it out. So. Um, I don't have any official 563 boards, but I'm going to use this one here and sort of fudge it in. I really like this little board. You can't buy them anymore. I think the company went out of business, but um, I might be, be, be making some uh, clones of these. Uh, I do like them. Okay, so let's, um, let's see here. Let's first do this. Let me put, let me put this wire in here. All right, so there is our um, on, and if I pull this one out, it should go off. There we go. So that's the gate. Put the gate back on. Talk about the gate a little bit later. Um, so we are going to put on an electronic load. All right, so let's put the load here. So now the upper part of the loads on on the VCC and the lower parts through the through the end channel. We have 10 volts coming into the part. So let me uh, let me turn on my little uh, turn on my little uh, load here, and I have it set to one amp. Okay, one amp. So I'm going to turn this sucker on, and yep, we are we are drawing one amp through this thing. Uh, it's pretty cool. So let's measure the um, let's measure the voltage across the part because it should be like 0.3 ohms or something like that. We're going to measure the voltage across the part, and we are measuring 0.3 volts. So we have 0.3 volts going across the part at one amp, and um, I'll do a thermal thermal picture here. Got up to about. 70 some odd degrees, just fine. Um, so yeah, one amp VC, no heat sink. There's, there's a little bit of solder on the, on the board. You, you get a little bit of heat sinking from the traces and stuff, but, uh, because it has such a low on resistance, it can get away with drawing an amp. And, uh, yeah, it is pretty amazing. All right. So I wanted to talk about the gate. Um, so, uh, here is a, uh, here is an FET and I'm going to have this ground and there's going to be some load here and it'll be some plus V up here. Um, and, um, so the gate, I figure, oh, I'll just, uh, I'll just tie the gate high. A lot of times you'll just see, you'll just see the, uh, the gate tied high and that'll, that'll be on and the part blew up. And at first I thought I'd overcurrented it, but no, I had destroyed it because I put too much voltage in on the gate, which kind of surprised me, but I, I'm not, I don't use FETs a whole lot. But if you read the data sheet, it says the gate to source voltage, that's from here to here, the, the uh, ground to the, uh, to the gate, can't be more than six volts. And in fact, they show protection zeners in here. I measured these at about six and a half volts. Um, so there's, 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 there's a protection here to make sure you don't put in more than six and a half volts here. 
Now, if you just tie this directly to VCC, what you're going to do is you're going to put a whole bunch of current through these Zener diodes, and you're going to blow the Zener diodes, and then once the Zener diodes are blown up, you're going to blow up the part. So, yeah, boom, 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 everything blew up. Um, then I took a... Um, uh, so I got I got rid of this. So then I said, "Oh, I know. I'll be I'll be I'll be smarter about it. I'll put a uh, I'll put a 10k resistor here, and have plus V out here. So the 10k resistor then goes into these zeners, and it clamps it at about six and a half volts. Okay, and um, that might be okay. I don't think so because I think those zeners are in there so that they never ever ever have to do any work. So. Uh, then what I did was I did this, I put another 10k to ground. So I have 10 volts going in and I'll only have 5 volts on the gate. So that's what I have over on the setup over here. I'm only putting 5 volts in on the gate. Now how much do you need on the gate to make it operate? Well that's the threshold voltage and we saw that uh, here. So as long as it's bigger than a volt, uh, you're good to go. All right, well, that was tip of the day, a DMG1024UV. Um, nice little part.